big thank you so much to those of you who have taken the time to comment, subscribe, like, follow. I really appreciate it. And I just also want you to know that you can follow my blog at lchairaddict.com. There's information about hair too. I'm a hairdresser who have recently taken the Hyaluron course and started doing it a few weeks ago and I'm loving it. But uh, there's a lot of concerns with people who have had the injections. It might be you who's doing the injections and you have to tell your people about this or you've had the injection and you're feeling kind of insecure because your lips are all swollen up and you just don't know what to do and you don't know if this is normal or not. So I'm gonna go over um, a few things involving the hyaluron pen risks treatments complications that can arise just know not everybody has complications your friend might have done it you might have three friends who did it who didn't swell and then you might have done it and your swelling's pretty bad and gets pretty scary but just know it's just a little swelling that'll last two to three days and it's going to be fine there's actually no risks of long-term complications when it comes to the hyaluron pen Hydraulic acid is something our body naturally has and over time after the age of 20 we start to lose it So we lose volume in our face areas different parts of our body as well, but mostly it's the face area that be That's gonna get treated so um, Okay, so let's just start with the basic uh, acid uh, possible side effects could be skin redness slight bruising swelling and itching Ice can be applied to the area. I suggest to do that, actually. I tell all my clients to ice the area, whether they swell immediately or not. I am reading my notes because I don't want to miss anything or forget to tell you something important. So you're going to watch me reading to you. And it's only because I don't want to forget. So uh, the, even though these problems don't necessarily occur in everyone, the human body produces a pretty short lifespan of hydraulic acid. It lasts three to five days. However, with the hyaluronic acid inside the carrier, you are able to keep it into the dermis within four to six months in the lips, six to eight months anywhere in the face. Okay, so uh, when, you're, when you're getting the procedure done, you really need to talk to your practitioner and let them know if you're having, uh, you know, if you're on coagulants, blood thinners, if you have a immune suppressing disease that you take uh, medication that might influence your healing process, you might want to tell them about that. So I'm just going to go over a little bit of things that you should let the practitioner know if you're having the treatment done. Um, that you are not pregnant and not nursing. Okay, they say nursing doesn't involve because it's not injected into the skin, but I believe there's not enough studies out there yet. So after doing a little bit of research, I would suggest just wait until they're done nursing or, you know, there's nothing you can't wait for when you're nursing. Um, that you don't have epilepsy or hemophilia, meaning that you bleed a lot. Uh, you don't suffer from any heart conditions or take medication which thins the blood, like I said. Uh, you have to inform the practitioner of any conditions such as diabetes uh, that might hamper the healing of your process. Let them know if you suffer from hepatitis or any contagious disease. Uh, inform your practitioner of the fact that you've been advised um, necessary procedure to help the healing of your process. Okay, uh, you do not suffer from any medical conditions, skin conditions such as, but not limited to, chelide or scarring of the psoriasis at the site of infection or any open wounds, infections, rashes, cold sores or lesions of the injecting site. Uh, advise your practitioner of any allergies you might have to metals, latex gloves, soaps, medications, and uh, let's go to the next page. So what else do you need to tell your practitioner? You need to tell your practitioner if you may, uh, let me just see. Yeah, so you need to realize that you may have an allergic reaction to the injection or process involved injection 
any further knowledge such as reaction is rare but possible. Uh, you have trust for, trustfully represented to the practitioner that you are over the age of 18. You are not under the influence of any drugs or alcohol. And to your knowledge, you do not have any physical, mental, or medical impairment or disability which may affect the well-being as a direct or indirect result of the decision to have the injection done at the time. You acknowledge that obtaining the procedure is your choice alone and will result in different changes of your appearance. You acknowledge that infection is always possible as a result of obtaining injection. You have, make sure that you have been received aftercare instructions and agree to follow them while the area being treated is healing. Understand that you will be injected using appropriate instruments and sterilization. And the person injecting you may ask for permission to take your photos and share them. Okay, so that's about what you really need to talk to about getting your injections done. Any of those complications, possibilities for complications need to be spoken about. Make sure you understand clearly how to aftercare for the product being into, being given into the dermal areas. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over possible complications that could arise afterwards. Things for you to know, the person being injected needs to know that lumps and dermal filler treatment, having the treatment done, it's very common, especially when you're doing the lips or the tear through area, which is under the eye. Uh, it's because the skin of these areas can be very thin uh, discovering a lump can be a little scary and the main thing is not to panic. Hydraulic acid is being put into the skin so it does not require, it does require, I'm sorry, time to mesh in with your skin under, okay? It needs to mesh in with your tissues. It can take a few days. Uh, lumps are very common especially in the first two weeks of your procedure. And uh, this is what you should know if you do find any lumps and for your after procedure uh, care. So if there are any lumps in the first 48 hours of the treatment, the best thing to do is leave them alone. Touching them at this point can lead to infection. Initial lumps can be just swelling and bruising from the infection themselves and usually subside in three to four days. You can use ice for the swelling, take an antihistamine, and a Tylenol for discomfort and cream for the bruising, if necessary. If you experience pain or inflammation or it feels hot, there could be an infection, go see your practitioner. If after seven days you still feel a lump or lumps, but they're not visible, there's no need to worry about these. They will start to reduce in size after two weeks. You can massage them and mold them into the area. After seven days, you can see visible lumps and it feels soft, then the filler may have settled in a way it generally requires just a good massage. How are you going to massage the lumps? The areas will be massaged thoroughly during treatment. It may require you for, do, for you to do so at home. To smooth the lumps found on the lips, using your thumb and index finger, hold the lip with the lump, apply pressure, Squeeze down on the area, then letting go. Squeeze down on the area, massage, hold for 10 seconds, and let go. Repeat this for 10 minutes. To smooth the tear through area, press down on the lump with firm pressure to mold the lump with the rest of your skin. Do this for 10 minutes. The best to do is three times a day for 10 minutes. Within two weeks, everything will subside. Aftercare advice. So now you've gone home, you're not sure what to do. I'm gonna tell you what to do. Okay, so do not consume excessive alcohol for 24 hours, for this may thin your blood. Do not drink through a straw a few hours after the lip augmentation because you don't wanna create a dent. Do not exercise for the first 24 hours 
you just don't want things to change because of the heart heart rate sweating strenuous activity facial expressions that may go on just leave relax for 24 hours take a break uh, you need to take a down day anyways once in a while when you're working out okay make sure if you're going to touch the area make sure your hands are clean keep the area well moisturized using vaseline avoid sun beds or saunas for three to four days after the procedure swelling bruising and tenderness is normal of the procedure the swelling is due to the injection and the fact that hydraulic acid this means that it will attract the water and the area will go down within 72 hours. It's normal to have a fat lip or a fat one lip. Maybe the top is bigger than the bottom. Totally normal. Don't get too scared. It will go down within 72 hours. So after having the filler, especially in lips, the swelling is instant. Sometimes the swelling subsides and you may think that the filler is gone too. This isn't the case because swelling or bumps can last three days. This is by the time you have gotten used to your lips, that new lip swelling, and um, uh, you've gotten used to your lips or bumps, and the small top-ups are advised every few months to create your new desired look, which will help the filler, which will last much longer. So the more you treat the area, the more longer the area lasts. Uh, if it's the first time, your your skin might absorb really quickly and you might have to go a little bit sooner for your next treatment than you thought. But the longer you do it, the more time will pass that you won't have to do it in between. Uh, lips are an average four to six months. Facial areas, six to eight months. Um, so they stay pretty well. Like I said, always take a before and after picture so you can compare because once the swelling does go down, we often think there's no product left. We can always compare back to the first picture you took before the augmentation was done to compare and you'll probably see that yes there was a change and you were just probably used to seeing the swelling for three days and started to like those big lips so the last but not least the most important part for everyone to know when you're getting fillers is this um to get big lips takes time money and patience for kylie jenner pout one ml is not enough uh building lips is gradually the best way to avoid lumps, scars, extreme swelling, unevenness, and bruising. So, as someone who's putting the fillers in, I always advise, once I've done pretty much the whole area to be treated, and I see it's been about 20 minutes, half an hour, we're working on the person, swelling is starting to kick in from all the pressure. At that point, we stop, and I'm making a follow-up an appointment, in two weeks after the first one let them come in talk about any concerns have any touch-ups that have to be done totally normal i hope this video helped and i know finding all this information out when i first started helped me because the first few people you're going to inject are going to call you and they're going to say my lip is fat they're swelling it's day two there's a bruise and you're not going to know what to answer them so hopefully this helps you out all right, have a good day and thank you for watching.